Kia ora koutou, I'm Katrina McPherson and this Creative Commons presentation comes to you on behalf of Victoria Leachman who can't be here. Victoria Leachman is the Rights Manager here at Te Papa. Last year uh, there were a few occasions at NDF where attendees were having a little bit of confusion around Creative Commons licences. So here's a very condensed seven minutes on the topic. The first thing I want you to know and remember when you hear the words Creative Commons is you need to add copyright licences in your head. Creative Commons copyright licences are just like any other copyright licence. They grant users permission to reproduce in copyright works. All copyright licences have legally binding terms which must be met by the user in order for the licence to be valid. Now the only difference between a Creative Commons licence and any other type of copyright licence is when the licence is actually granted. Creative Commons licences are granted in advance of someone using the work, kind of like a pre-approval. Creative Commons licences exist on the spectrum of rights. At one end you have public domain, where the copyright in that work has expired, or co no copyright ever existed. On the other end of the spectrum is in copyright works. The default position for this is all rights reserved. Creative Commons sits in the middle. It gives choices to the copyright holder on which copyright they wish to, or which rights within that copyright they wish to reserve and which they're happy to let go of. Here we have a spectrum of all of the copyright licenses. You can see at the top the most open, right down to the bottom, which are more restrictive in use. Creative Commons licenses say, hey, I'm happy for you to use my stuff as long as you follow a few set of standard rules. So let's look at those rules. The first thing you need to remember about Creative Commons licenses is that they're like a bus pass. The license must travel with the work. You wouldn't be able to travel on a bus without your pass. Likewise, you can't reproduce a Creative Commons licensed work without including the license somewhere near that copy. Now that can be easily put into a credit line it can be put in symbols underneath the work, or in the case of this presentation, it's in the end slide. Each of the licenses are actually made up of different components or elements. They're usually symboled by little icons or in the letters. In the case of this one, it's the attribution or the BY. This says you must credit the creator of the work. And you'll see with the nice six licenses here, it actually applies to all six of the Creative Commons licenses. Now, as you're already doing a credit line to include the license, which travels with the work, it should be relatively easy to acknowledge the work's creator. The next element is the non-commercial element. So this is usually represented by the lovely dollar sign crossed out, or by NC. If you see this, then you're not permitted to use the work commercially. If you're collecting money in return for reproducing the work, then it's a commercial use. Sometimes this can be confusing and a little bit of a grey area, so a general rule of thumb is to put yourself in the shoes of the copyright owner. Would they consider it a commercial use? If you're feeling uncertain or don't know, maybe don't use that work or go and ask permission. The next one is the share alike element, or SA. This element is all about remixing or creating a derivative work. The SA element says, if you remix a licensed work and create a derivative work, it needs to have the same license as the original, just like in this GIF. Just to repeat, the element, the SA element, has no bearing on copying the work. It's only if you remix. And lastly, this is the no derivative elements, or ND. Just like the share alike element, it's all about remixing, whether or not it's changing the colours, adding text, or animating. They're saying if you find this against one of the licenses, the copyright owner is saying they don't want you to remix it. They're saying it's not allowed, but if you do want to use it, copying's fine. You just have to use it as is. The combination of these four elements, attribution, non-commercial, share alike, and no derivatives, create the six licenses you see on the screen. This they go from very open at the top, which is just a tribute me, to more closed off at the bottom, which is you can copy for non-commercial purposes as long as you attribute me and you can't change it. The great thing about Creative Commons licenses, they're non-exclusive, 
which means if you find a Creative Commons licensed work and it doesn't, the license that's been applied doesn't sit with your intended use, you still have the option of going back to the copyright home owner and asking for additional permission. Of course, they can always say no. There are also a couple of other Creative Commons icons that you might see out there in the glam sector or wider, and they include the CC0 mark. This is used when the copyright owner wants to waive all of their current and, and future copyright rights. They're dedicating their work to the public domain. Creative Commons copyright licenses are only valid when applied to works that are in copyright. If the work or copies of the work are in the public domain, then a Creative Commons copyright license applied is meaningless. So what does this mean for your glam sector institutions? There's a th few things you need to check before you start applying Creative Commons copyright licenses to the content within your institutions. The first thing to note is, do you own the copyright in that work? All copyright licenses, including Creative Commons licenses, can only be applied to the copy uh, by the copyright owner of that work or their legal authority. If you don't own or administer the copyright, then you can't apply a license. And just because you or your organisation owns the physical work doesn't necessarily mean you own the copyright in the work. They are separate. So a few key takeaways for today is if you are using Creative Commons licences, you do have to make sure that that licence travels with the work. Always make sure you acknowledge the original creator and make sure you abide by any of the other terms of use. If Creative Commons licence doesn't work for you, go back and ask. Now, it wouldn't be a Creative Commons licence or a rights presentation without credits. So here we have two full slides created by Victoria to acknowledge all of those lovely images. And I'd just like to tell take this time to thank you all. And if you do have any questions about Creative Commons, uh, feel free to nab me in one of the breaks or get in touch with Victoria Leachman on Twitter. Thanks very much.